Right guys, the wait is finally over. Apple has officially started teasing something big, something powerful, and yes, it's almost certain to be the next generation M5 MacBook Pro. When Apple senior VP Greg Joswiak drops hints about a powerful new era for the Mac lineup, you know something major is about to happen. And this time, it's not just another incremental refresh. It's the start of Apple's next big leap in laptop performance, efficiency, and AI integration. Let's break down everything we know so far. The confirmed leaks, the hidden clues in Apple's software testing, and what this means for you. Whether you're a creative professional, a student, or just a tech enthusiast looking for the ultimate upgrade. The first clues, a quiet tease from inside Apple. According to multiple reliable insiders, including developers who've been tracking internal macOS Tahoe builds, Apple has already been running tests on an unreleased macOS 2.6.0.2 version, and it's doing that on brand new MacBook hardware. This strongly suggests that the M5 MacBook Pro isn't just being developed, it's nearly ready to hit the production line. If you've followed Apple's release cycles before, you'll know they always test major OS updates tied directly to upcoming hardware. The build number alone gives away the internal timeline. When Apple begins testing .2 versions of an OS, the hardware that runs it is typically about to go into mass production. That means a launch is not months away, but potentially just weeks away. And that's where the timing gets fascinating. The timing, late 2025 launch window confirmed. Apple seems to be following a predictable but strategic rhythm this time. Sources indicate that the M5 Power MacBook Pro is being positioned for a late 2025 release, likely around the week of October 21st. This aligns perfectly with Apple's annual pattern, refreshing the Mac lineup right after its back-to-school promotions end and right before the busy holiday shopping season kicks in. In fact, if you look closely, the clues are everywhere. Apple's own retail supply chain hints at something big brewing behind the scenes. The current M4 MacBook Pro and M4 iPad Pro models are facing notable stock shortages. Many Apple stores report delivery windows slipping into late October, with exact dates matching that same week, October 21st to 28th. That's not a coincidence. Historically, Apple Time's new product launches to coincide with the wrap-up of educational promotions. When the back-to-school deal for Europe ends, New Macs usually roll out right after. So, all signs from supply chain whispers to Apple's OS testing timeline point to a mid to late October 2025 launch for the M5 MacBook Pro. The FCC leak, Apple's secret revealed early. Now, here's where things get really interesting. This week, a brand new FCC filing accidentally went public, and it might have just revealed Apple's next MacBook before the company even announced it. Inside the filing was a mysterious product labeled model A3434. Based on everything we know from serial patterns and internal references, this model number matches Apple's 14-inch MacBook Pro lineup, but with an entirely new chipset identifier inside. That's right, it's almost certainly the new M5 MacBook Pro. And here's the best part. FCC filings are typically one of the final steps before launch. Apple cannot legally sell any device without regulatory approval, meaning that when a product hits the FCC database, it's either already in mass production or just about to be shipped to stores. In short, the M5 MacBook Pro is no longer a rumor. It's a done deal. The leaks confirm it's real, tested, and ready to roll out. Why the base M5 comes first? Now, you might be wondering, what about the M5 Pro and M5 Max models? Where are they? Well, here's the smart part of Apple's strategy. Insiders claim that the base M5 MacBook Pro will launch first this year, while the M5 Pro and M5 Max versions are planned for early 2026. And this isn't just a random scheduling choice. It's a calculated move rooted in Apple's manufacturing strategy and silicon architecture. See, the M5 chip continues the unified design approach we've seen since the M1 generation, meaning CPU, GPU, and neural engine are integrated on one die. That makes it easier and faster for Apple to test and mass produce. But the M5 Pro and M5 Max chips, those are entirely new beasts. 
they are rumored to introduce a modular archy. Texture where CPU and GPU blocks are physically separated, allowing Apple to mix and match configurations based on performance or thermals. This flexibility will allow Apple to create versions with a higher GPU count but moderate CPU performance for creative users or CPU-heavy builds for developers and data professionals. This modular redesign, however, requires much deeper testing and validation. That's why Apple is staggering the rollout, giving us the base M5 first while perfecting the next-gen Pro and Max models for 2026. It's the same method Apple used with the M2 generation. Start with the entry level, then scale up once the new architecture stabilizes. Wi-Fi 7 or not? The connectivity clue. One interesting note from the FCC documents caught everyone's eye. The test report mentioned Wi-Fi 6E, but there was no explicit mention of Wi-Fi 7. Now, before anyone panics, that doesn't necessarily mean Wi-Fi 7 is missing. Sometimes Apple tests only specific frequency bands for certification. However, many experts believe Apple is saving the Wi-Fi 7 upgrade for the M5 Pro and M5 Max models in 2026. If true, this means the M5 MacBook Pro will stick to Wi-Fi 6E but gain improved Bluetooth 5.4, better antenna placement, and more stable connectivity overall. For most users, that's still incredibly fast, but it shows how Apple strategically reserves its biggest wireless upgrades for its premium models. Performance expectations. What to expect from the M5 chip? Now let's talk about the star of the show, the M5 chip itself. Apple's next-gen silicon is rumored to be built on TSMC's second-generation 3-nanometer process, offering improved transistor density, better efficiency, and lower thermal output. Based on early performance benchmarks, leaked from prototype iPad Pro M5 units, we're looking at some seriously impressive numbers. Up to 30 to 35% faster GPU performance compared to the M4 chip. 10 to 15% faster CPU performance, and even more powerful AI and machine learning acceleration thanks to an upgraded neural engine capable of handling up to 60 trillion operations per second. These gains aren't just numbers, they translate to real-world improvements. Video editors can render 4K and even 8K ProRes clips faster. Graphic designers and 3D artists can preview animations in real time. Developers using Xcode will see compile times reduced drastically. And for average users, everything from web browsing to multitasking feels smoother, faster, and more fluid. This also positions the M5 chip as Apple's first major leap toward AI-integrated computing on the Mac. Expect deeper integration with Apple Intelligence, the company's new AI ecosystem, including on-device AI processing for privacy, Smart summaries, AI-assisted document edits, intelligent battery management, and real-time voice and video enhancements. Simply put, the M5 MacBook Pro is not just faster. It's smarter. Design and display. Familiar outside, smarter inside. So what about design? Will Apple finally change how the MacBook Pro looks? Not yet. The M5 MacBook Pro will likely retain the same stunning 14-inch liquid Retina XDR display, aluminum unibody design, magic keyboard, and extensive port layout including HDMI, SD card slot, and MagSafe charging. Apple isn't focusing on redesigning the outside this time. It's refining what's inside. The big external transformation is reserved for the M6 generation, which is set to introduce OLED displays and a thinner, lighter chassis sometime in late 2026 or early 2027. That's when Apple's laptops will truly evolve into a new era of ultra-portable performance machines. But make no mistake, even though the M5 MacBook Pro looks familiar, it's going to feel like an entirely new machine. Expect quieter cooling, improved efficiency, and possibly better thermals allowing sustained high performance without throttling. The OLED future, what comes next? Let's take a quick look at why Apple fans are so hyped about that future OLED generation. If you've seen the M4 iPad Pro, you already know how breathtaking Apple's new tandem OLED technology looks. The blacks are inky 
The contrast is infinite and colors just pop off the screen like never before. Apple plans to bring that same display tech to the MacBook Pro lineup, starting with the M6 series. Not only will it deliver better visuals, but it will also make the laptops thinner and lighter because OLED panels require less backlighting. Combine that with a please rumored silicon carbon battery technology, which offers higher energy density in smaller cells. And we're looking at laptops that could easily last 18 to 20 hours on a single charge while being thinner than any previous MacBook. The M5 MacBook Pro then acts as a crucial bridge, the stepping stone between the mini LED era and the OLED revolution. Apple's smarter launch strategy. Over the last few years, Apple has learned a valuable lesson. It doesn't need to release all chip variants at once. Instead, it's spacing them out across the year to dominate tech headlines consistently. Here's how the current plan looks based on all available reports. Q4 2025, launch of the M5 MacBook Pro base model. Q1 2026, launch of M5 Pro and M5 Max versions with modular architecture. Q4 2026 slash Q1 2027, launch of redesigned OLED MacBooks. This staggered approach ensures every quarter has something new to drive sales and keep the ecosystem fresh. And honestly, it's working. Apple has managed to stretch excitement across the year, maintaining relevance and anticipation among fans, investors, and reviewers alike. Should you upgrade to the M5 MacBook Pro? Now let's answer the big question. Is the M5 MacBook Pro worth buying? It depends on what you're upgrading from. If you're still using an Intel MacBook, or even an M1 model, then absolutely. The jump to M5 will feel revolutionary. You'll notice instant performance boosts, significantly longer battery life, faster wake times, and better efficiency across the board. However, if you already own an M2 or M3 MacBook Pro, you might want to wait. The performance gains are real, but not mind-blowing enough to justify upgrading just yet unless you rely heavily on GPU-intensive tasks or AI workflows. Still, the M5's improved GPU and neural engine make it ideal for video editors working in Final Cut Pro, music producers in Logic Pro, 3D artists using Blender or Cinema 4D, and AI developers experimenting with machine learning models locally. For those use cases, it's absolutely worth it. Plus, the M5's launch will likely drop the prices of M4 MacBook Pros, making them an even better deal for users who don't need cutting-edge specs but still want high-end performance. Apple's tradition, the October surprise. Every Apple fan knows October has become the quiet but deadly month for Macs. Instead of hosting a flashy event, Apple often rolls out its Mac updates through press releases and instant store updates. That's exactly what we expect here. Don't be surprised if, on October 21st, Apple simply updates its website with a now available banner for the new M5 MacBook Pro, followed by immediate in-store availability. This approach keeps hype controlled, but still captures global attention. It worked perfectly for the M3 MacBook Pro and iMac launches in 2023, and it's likely Apple will repeat that success formula again. Final thoughts, the calm before the OLED storm. So what does all of this tell us? Apple's approach to the M5 MacBook Pro is deliberate, strategic, and surprisingly consumer-friendly. They're giving us an upgrade that focuses on performance, GPU power, and AI processing while maintaining the familiar and reliable design users love. Then in 2026, they'll unleash the true design revolution with OLED displays and modular chips. The M5 marks the end of one silicon era and the foundation of the next. So, if you've been waiting for the right time to upgrade your MacBook, this might just be it. The M5 MacBook Pro brings better efficiency, smarter AI tools, and enhanced graphics in a package that's ready for both professionals and casual users alike. But if you're the kind of person who wants the next big leap, OLED, thinner bezels, and Wi-Fi 7, then maybe, just maybe, waiting for the M6 generation could be the ultimate play.